From a distance of 2.3 miles from the base of the building, the angle of elevation from the ground to the top of a building is 3.6 degrees. Use this information to find the height of the building in feet. All right. So again, always start with a right triangle. And then let's try and label what we're given. So the distance of 2.3 miles from the base of a building. So the tall part is usually the building, right? Here's our building. There's some windows, some doors. Okay. So that means 2.3 miles is the angle of elevation. So the angle of elevation is 3.6, and that's 2.3 miles away. Using this information, find the height of the building in feet. So we want to find the height in feet. I'm writing the units because they're different. So you can convert before or after. Um, let's see, I'm going to do it after. So across from our angle is the opposite side. And we're given the adjacent side. So are we going to use sine, cosine, or tangent? Tangent. We've used tangent every time so far. So tangent of our angle equals opposite over adjacent. To solve for x, we times by 2.3. And that goes in the calculator. So 2.3 times tangent of 3.6. And the number is super tiny because it's in miles and we need it in feet. So 0 0.1447. We need to convert this to miles. So if this is, or not miles, it's in miles. If this is miles, how do you convert it to feet? Think about your science classes. Move this. Well, first you need to know how many feet are in a mile. And if you don't know, it's okay to look it up. I don't want you to use the conversion charts. You need to know how to convert without them. So 5,280 feet per mile. So what happens is we make a little X here and we say one mile, we put that diagonal because they're going to cancel out, equals 5,280 feet. And these mean multiply. So we're going to times those two numbers. And I'm going to do it up here just so I'm not rounding. Look how much bigger that got. So 764.1 decimal, point zero, 764.0. There we go. Their pictures are always better. Look at those.